We love hip hop. Before I walked inside the door, and in all my pain, I said it times and times before. You know you burned that bridge, and that's the start of this war. Hey, little OT, let's get to it. Little OT's been putting in work. He needs a check mark. That's who needs a friggin' check mark. Let's find little OT. Dirty North. You know what I'm saying? He he's been home for a little less than a year. From what I'm seeing. I think he came home mid last year, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what he's working with here on his Instagram followers. He's been steadily, steadily. Holy bro, you're at 24k already, eh? Holy. And one thing I like about this guy. Like, his social media grind is heavy. You know what I'm saying? He, he's, he's, he doesn't, like, just expect for people to just tap into him while his music is out. Like, he's steadily on the gram. He's not in the mix-up. You know what I'm saying? One second. He's not in the mix-up. And, you know... He's just steadily climbing as far as his his progression. Let's see what's going on here. This is from January. I want to see from when he first came home. All my clothes are latest from the trenches, but I 21 weeks ago is roughly when he first, um, I think he was on house arrest and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? What's this? You can get down to the bottom of a lot of these guys' Instagram pages. Niggas like delete mad post. You know what I'm saying? Do y'all think that he's up next? Because I remember before he went away, he had a buzz. He had a pretty good buzz. But then like when he was, was he on the run at some point in time? Am I, am I like imagining that? Because I feel like I've seen a video of something a bit about him being on the run, or maybe we reported on that. Right? There's so much shit that goes on, like, sometimes the stories get mixed up. But one thing I do like about um, his progression since he's come home is that, like somebody's just saying in the comments right now, it's been organic. Entertainment, yeah, organic growth. You know what I'm saying? Stoner Simpson, what up? Yeah, it's it's just him putting out music steadily. Like, I would say once every two months, he's dropping another music video. And good shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to play the music video. I'm just going to pull it up because no copyright, please. 18 thou wow that's all right it's not crazy you know what i'm saying but this is from four weeks ago let's go on his youtube channel are y'all big fans of um little ot let me know in the comment gang Billionaire, what up? Yeah, I, 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 if y'all didn't miss, if y'all missed the little rant earlier about that dirty, sick piece of shit, um, the Dalai Lama, rewind this after this live is done, okay? To get my opinions on the Dalai Lama and religion, okay? I just had to say it once and for all. So let's see some of these numbers here. Six months ago, little OT. MT's like, who? Yeah, little OT, he's been doing his thing out here, fam. I give him six more months with the same trajectory. Like, if he just keeps on steadily going at this pace, without it even going faster, just at this pace. Keep on going at this pace, and you'll be one of the top five Toronto rappers in the next six months. So let's see here. Violence is at 115,000. Um, antisocial, 44,000, 68,000, uh, five months ago for Believe It or Not. Um, 
Trouble Child two months ago. That is forty nine thousand. Hmm. Hmm. What do y'all think he needs to take it to the next level? Little OT here. What do you think he needs to take this so that he's one of the main Toronto rappers? Right? He might need some features. That's if I was going to just be somebody who works on his marketing team, maybe a feature with another one of these Toronto rappers out here. But that could get dicey because you start doing a, uh, you do a feature with one Toronto rapper, and then now the other ones start looking at you funny. All right? Maybe an American feature. That's one suggestion. I'm not saying it's the end all be all. You know what I'm saying? Um. Hmm. I see OT. On road in Hamilton monthly. <laughs> Yo, chill. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> um, billionaire says too bad. Um, radio play don't mean ish, but that would be good. Push for a good be a. Oh, sorry, sorry. That would be a good push for little OT. That's true. A lot of these guys don't care about getting clean versions of their songs. You know what I'm saying? Peace and Love says live performances. And listen, this is also us all together, you know, Comment Gang and, 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 and myself here together. We're, we're working a marketing strategy for you, little OT. Okay, so if you watch this or one of the men, then we'll send this to you, okay? I'll, and I'm going to make a separate clip for this, obviously. Take all of these suggestions that are popping up in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Because... We're all rooting for you to, you know, once we see somebody who drops good music, and I think his music's good. I like his music. Once we see somebody who's dropping good music, I feel like Toronto audiences that w what we have over here, we collectively surround them to try to bring them up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not other rappers and different things like that, but like fans will be like yo this is the guy they'll jump in comments like nah nah doovy better little ot better you know what i'm saying so while he's watching this i want him to be able to take some of these suggestions like live shows getting clean versions um bt short says he has two youtube channels okay he has two youtube channels eh you might want to which one is his main one? This one has 1.7 thousand on it. Let's see if we can find another one. Little OT. Hmm. <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're right. Good call. Thank you. Who said that right there? Let me give him his props. Um, BT Shorts. Okay. This is some of the stuff from before. Oh. I see what he did here. This is before he went away. These are the songs. I remember reviewing some of these songs. Um, wait, first day out. It's this. Has he been home for three years? No fucking way. When did this come out? January 2020. Okay, so three years ago almost. Hmm. Well, listen, I'm looking forward to seeing more from this guy. I'm thinking he might want to bring this down into one channel, but it's hard to do that now because people have already, he's already accumulated multiple views on all of these music videos here. Like he's almost at a million on this one right here. Um, Love Lost. Let me move me out of the way right here. It has 640,000 views on it. That's a fucking good number right there, Brusky. Like, like that's, that's solid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Entertainment, thank you for the info. I'm not going to read that out loud, but yeah. Yeah. 
You know what? I think all songs, if they can be looked at in that kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Mm. What to say right here? I feel like he needs to switch up the flows and find um, his sound a little bit more. His voice and something is is AI, but... Oh, sorry, A1. My bad. <laughs> Not AI. But he just sounds like everyone else right now. He needs to differentiate himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I don't even think that's just only singled out to, to Lil OT. I think that goes for a lot of um, of Toronto rappers. Not that I don't like auto-tune, but maybe moving forward with a lot of these guys, maybe toning or tuning it down a little bit where you can hear some more of the tonality in your own voice. You know what I'm saying? And still having just a little auto tune on it for when you're, when you're doing your melodies, obviously you'll be able to, people will be able to be like, Oh, that's this guy. I'll give you a perfect example before I hit the road. Bully. I've been doing some listening to Bully's music. Okay. Um, a lot of listening to Bully's music lately. Okay, R.I.P. Bully. Bully was an amazing rapper out here. Okay? And from listening to his album Made in Austria, I was able to hear him use autotune, obviously. He was somebody who used autotune on his tunes. But then he had other songs where he took the autotune off and he just straight raps. I'm like, holy shit, you could do that too? It actually surprised me. He mixed it in one song where like he did his own hook and then boom, he jumps on a verse, but like a rap verse, like they're all, these are all rap verses. Don't get me wrong, but like a more traditional rap style verse, let's say for lack of a better term. And that really impressed me right there because it's like, obviously, yes, you have your style, which people know you for, which is the auto tune um, style. But you can go through somebody's album and be like, oh, you can flip that shit. And this is what your voice sounds like on a beat when you're just doing your thing without the auto tune and then get back to it. I'm with it. I'm down for both. Kenzo Tooney, what up? Mm. Me and OT got a drip check loading soon. Yo, make sure to check that out when it drops, yo. Kento Tuni's out here doing work, man. You know what I'm saying? I got to big up the brother. I fuck with it, man. You know what I'm saying? And and, he, and Kento Tuni keeps his, pul his, his finger on the pulse of the Toronto rappers, especially these up-and-coming Toronto rappers. So, so fuck with him. Go check him out. But yeah, man. <clears throat> I, like, I like Lil OT's progression. Keep doing your thing. We'll be watching. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, if you watch this video, look look at the comments for some of these suggestions that the that um, people have been saying in here. You know what I'm saying? We fuck with you, so we we want you to win. Um, we love hip hop. Hip -hop, hip -hop.